and then there were none by Agatha Christie. Eight people are on their way to Soldier Island via train. They are Justice Lawrence Wargrave, Vera Claythorne, Captain Philip Lombard, Emily Brent, General MacArthur, Dr. Armstrong, Anthony Marston, and Mr. William Bloor. They were invited by Mr. Owen, someone none of the guests have ever met. They are greeted by Mr. and Mrs. Rogers. These two are the housekeepers on the island. They too haven't met Mr. Owen. With the addition of the housekeepers, the island has a total of 10 people on it. In each of the guests' rooms, there is a copy of the nursery rhyme, Ten Little Soldier Boys. Also, there are ten figurines on the dining room table. Each of the ten people are killed according to the nursery rhyme. For instance, the first verse states, Ten little soldiers went out to dine. One choked his little self, then there were nine. The first to die was Anthony Marston. He choked on poison whiskey. The second to die was Miss Rogers. She died in her sleep. The nursery rhyme goes like this. Nine little soldier boys sat up very late. One overslept himself, and then there were eight. This goes on throughout the book, and after each murder, the figurines disappear from the dining room table. We find out in the epilogue, which is entitled, A Manuscript Document Sent to Scotland Yard by the Master of the Emma Jane Fishing Trawler. In it, investigators find out that Justice Wargrave was behind the murders. When his doctor told him he was going to die, Wargrave decided to fulfill his ultimate dream. So he found 10 people that committed murders and got away with it. He killed them, and then after succeeding in his plan, he decided to kill himself. And this is where the story ends. Thank you for watching.